Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed and welcome to my channel, Erin Reed Makes. And today I'm going to show you a fun recap of a lot of the projects I've made from 2018. This is my top 10. It's not actually 10, I actually went with 13 because I just couldn't decide between some of them. Everything from scrapbook pages to cards to home decor and mixed media. Your kids crafts, you're going to see the gambit. At the end of the video, I'm going to have my information for my giveaway, so make sure you go back and take a look at that at the end about what you need to do to qualify. But basically, subscribe and leave a comment. Super simple. All the dates and information about when you need to leave your comment and when I'm announcing my winner era at the end and also down in the information section. There is a bunch of us doing the top 10 video for 2018 and the list of all the people that are in this fun video hop are going to be down below in the information section. So make sure to go check them out because some of them have some giveaways and fun prizes as well. Also, don't forget to check out all of my other fun social media channels. They are all under Aaron Reed Makes. All the projects have videos that are linked up in the iCard, so make sure you check that for this playlist so that way if you were interested in how I made that particular project, you can check it out there. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a look at all the crafty goodness I made in 2018. All right, the first one I'm going to show you guys is a scrapbook page. I used to make a ton of scrapbook pages and I've kind of gotten away from it just a little bit. Not that I don't love making them, it's just, you know, I, I love making all kinds of stuff. I've got a little hidden little door here, well, a little... Uh, tag here that talks about this is our trip from Canada so it's just kind of tucked behind here lots of fun layers just one picture because there were so many pictures and so I just picked the family photo that we had of all of us and just lots of cute little layers little embellishments you know talking about you know love laugh family this is us you know that kind of stuff that is the first one all right this is totally just a decor piece this is my second project I used an old um, liquor bottle it was actually an old monk um, rum bottle and I just love the shape and I love Loved all these little kind of pieces like so all of this uh, each little square it's not really a square it's these little shapes all over here they came like that that was on the bottle and then I just took a marker and these markers are specifically made to go on glass and I had like six different colors and I went through and I just randomly colored all of these did the black on here black on here added this piece right here which I then painted with the same markers added the flame on top this piece is from uh, relics and artifacts and then added the heart and then some of the beading work on here I just think it looks so cool but I just love the look of this glass and repurposing something that's purely just a decorative piece but I just love all the bright fun colors and just the vibe of it and then a little piece on top that cannot be pulled off but it's just a decorative element to the top of this jar or bottle this is a bottle in a jar but so cool I make a lot of cards. I'm actually going to be having a card series coming up in 2019 where it's going to be one card a week. It's going to be card making Wednesdays. So make sure you tune in every Wednesday for a new card ideas, techniques, just, you know, for something fun. And this is one that I made with my Love from Lizzie kit. And I just am in love with this toucan. It's actually a die set where I die cut out a white piece and then the black piece and then colored in the beak to make it look like a toucan. Have all the leaves on the back, very simple design, some of the elegance and just the clean and simple look of this card is one of my favorite ones I made from last year and I still it's on a white card base I had I'm keeping it because I'm just too afraid to let go of it because I love it so much this is a fun little project I made it was just totally just fun cheery bright I took dollar store glass beads or gems or you want to call them and attached them to these wooden skewers also from Dollar Tree and then what I did is I colored some of them I etched some of them which is how you get the markers so these are just sharpie markers but I had to etch the glass in order for it to stick on there but they're on there I mean it's not wiping off they hold wonderfully some of the beads I did not etch therefore that they're keeping their their clearness and then I just used a uh, super tight glue to hold everything together and again there's a video about how I did all this my kids got into it they had fun we started coloring them I think my daughter was helping me color some of these and they actually sit on a jar on my desk and it's just like this little fun bright cheery colorful thing that's sitting on my crafting desk which I love I could put them in the garden if I wanted to but I just love the look of them in my space so it's a little craft some something crafty to look at while I'm creating and just kind of get me that creative vibe that I'm looking for right, this is a travel journal I made so I added a little extra piece to this after I made the video I actually did this as a live event and I did it on some little elastic string and this is a little travel journal I did from when I went to New York so I went there for a conference Oops, this little piece snuck itself over and went I think they transferred it's okay it looks good on the other side so this is a little thing that I went to well I went to New York City I saw Lynn Lilly was there with Pets Golden I saw Alex from Hedgehog Hollow so it's just a journey of my fun times while I was there a class I taught while I was there I got to meet Helen Castillo from Project Runway it's one of my favorite 
shows. I love that show. Um, here was one of the contests I helped judge. You know, just we had a blast. And whoops, here we go. It's a little piece. Got to see Sister Hazel while they were there. Here was another one of the other contests I helped judge. Went out to eat with a whole bunch of fun crafty ladies. And then Bets and I went into the city and we had fun with the city. We went and saw the Empire State Building. We went and saw, you know, just all kinds of yeah, that is, no, oh, Empire City, not the Empire State Building, I'm sorry, sorry, saw Ground Zero, we de went down Times Square, we had all kinds of fun, here's the skyline, you know, so I kind of labeled it, so it's a little bit of a junk journal, travel journal, a little bit of a scrapbook journal, went and ate at Juniors, saw a show, and so it's just kind of a remembrance of all the fun things I did, and I made sure I came home and did this pretty darn quickly, because I didn't want to forget all the fun stuff that I had done, and the whole thing is in a Teresa Collins journal, which I think is just great. These are one of her new journals, and I love them. So, so much fun with this one. All right, this is one of my other fun cards I made this year. Uh, it's on one of my favorite background pieces. I wish it was an A2 size, uh, but it's okay. It's a little bit bigger. I just love the background of the burlap that's on there. I just wish it was smaller. That'd be so cool. And a chipboard piece. What I love about this card is I made these washi feathers. I just think they're so cool. So it's just taking washi tape and making really cool feathers. And I just kind of made an embellishment that went onto a card. But I really had a blast making these washi feathers and taking something that's just wire and washi tape and making something really cool out of that. So make sure you go check out that video because it is so super fun. And that is an embellishment that you can put on so many different projects, not just a card but a scrapbook page, journal, anything. All right, I had a blast making these. These are these round ATC cards. These are actually like artist trading cards. That's what an ATC stands for. But instead of being a rectangle shape, which is usually a baseball card or a playing card shape, it's a circle. But it, the dimensions width is exactly the same. It's still that same width. And then what I did is I just added some stenciling on the background, lots of fun Nouveau drops and some sequins, and this really cool little embellishment that went on the top, which I didn't make. It's just this pre-made thing. I just all the background work on these and it really ended up looking so super cute and very Halloween-y but it's not Halloween colors which is what I kind of like about them so they're just they're fun they're glam they're shabby chic they're pretty and I have a really hard time trying to give them away because I love them so much right, here's another layout that I did I love this one that in captures all of us the only person I didn't get on this one was my husband well he's right there so I guess he is technically on there but this was a trip family trip that we did back in I swear I put the date on this somewhere Oh, I did. 2016. Look, see, I got to put the information. Otherwise, I'm going to forget. This is not a current trip, but I did scrapbook the, this year. So two years after we took the trip, well, a year and a half after we took the trip, I finally got around to scrapbooking this. Yay. <laughs> And I just did lots of simple layers. So it's the background layer, but look, it's already got this really beautiful design on here. It's got the beautiful design up here. And then it's got a white layer, washi tape, another layer, all oceany kind of vibe. This little piece on here, I think it's just all from Paper House. Embellishments up here, the sticker that comes with it, a little bit of a real sand dollar, and also some re real seashells that are down here. And I was able to fit seven pictures on this. So a big picture of all of the kids, one of all of us, because actually every single one of us, myself, there's my three kids and my husband, and then another up close picture of my kids, but on a smaller scale, it's kind of like this little embellishment piece that comes down here. Everything is matted, everything is inked, and just to kind of get everything to kind of pop from each other. And I love it. I just think it's so much fun. All right, this next one's actually a home decor piece that fits like this, but obviously you can't see anything when I turn it the wrong way around, so I'll hold it flat. This is a wooden frame piece that the top pops up, and then these pieces slide out, which I think is so cool. So technically, you could go through. Oops, this one got attached. <laughs> It got stuck. You could go through and you could get new little inserts for this, single inserts, double inserts. I could go inside this little frame and it is just so cool. And then this can rest on your mantle. The company who sells these, they have a ton of different designs for every season, for every type of decor, from clean and simple to shabby chic. I added in, it came with this one felt piece, but I added in an extra felt piece. I added in the gems here, and I'm gonna pop this little guy right back. It's supposed to fit there. I guess it just came loose. So you can stick with what they have, or you can add to it. I kind of pulled it apart and went my own direction and add some other elements and add stenciling to the background and just kind of had some fun with it. But it really is kind of a neat piece. It sits on my crafty desk and it just another piece that can inspire me. It's not seasonal in any way, shape or form, so it can stay out year round. And I just love kind of the 
fun vibe that it gives. It's just so pretty. I love it. All right, this is just another fun journal. I love making some journals that just necessarily don't have pictures in it, don't really have any kind of rhyme or reason. I was playing around with different layers and then just these fun stamps and then just these fun elements and just making a really cool little fun fun vibe, little flaps, little pieces that kind of tuck in. It was all about just kind of having fun. You know, with little flamingos in there, kind of blending a couple of different papers from different stuff that I loved. I loved all that, oh, that goes together. The bright and cheeriness of this whole entire book. This was actually um, envelopes that I cut up and then I used them to create this fun little book. Just all these really cool elements. Look at that. See, here's the envelope that goes right in here. It was supposed to stuck together, but I think it came undone. There we go. So just this little pops in here. There's all kinds of fun. Be a flamingo and a flock of pigeons. I just love the sayings that are in here. So it's all about just inspiring yourself, you know, moments, just, you know, having fun, being kind of bright and cheery and just, you know, a feel good book. And then also just playing with some new set of techniques. I had never done the book binding, using all these envelopes to kind of create a book, a little mini book, which I think is fun. And then just, you know, creating, but having no set agenda, not having to worry about making a certain theme or anything. It was just kind of pulling out some colors I liked, pulling out some paper packs I like, and just having fun and creating. That's what this book was all about. All right, this is a fun little card I made. I was taking, it's, it's kind of like all these fun little elements. I had these cutie patootie little ice cream cone stamps. And I thought, I really want to make these into a Christmas card for my Christmas card a day series. I did it at the end of December, early December, mid December. And I found a fun way of cutting out elements of stickers, adding them to the top of the stamps and giving them little hats and then a fun sticker that went on top and then just lots of fun layers. And I just, I'm in love with the long fun little cutie patootie stamps that have like objects that shouldn't have faces, but they have faces. I just think that's so cute. So that's where this one came from. All right, I had to throw in one of my Christmas ornaments and I'm in just in love with these little glitter balls. It is a Dollar Tree little ornament, plastic ornament ball that we fill with glitter. And then I turned it into a little kitty cat, which I think is just so much fun. So it's got little felt ears, little hats, and then just a little kitty cat face that I put on my Sharpie. Actually, this was with the uh, style file or it could be like any kind of alcohol-based marker. And a tip, if you ever did this kind of a project and you wanna ever color on a ball, uh, you can take an alcohol, just a little bit of alcohol on a Kleenex or a paper towel or something. It wipes off in case you mess up. So this was like, I think the fourth version of the eyes that I made because I kept messing the face up. I made the whiskers too long. They were going the wrong direction. It was just a mess. But I'm in love with my little Christmas ornament. And my daughter, of course, went back and made a whole bunch on her own. And she had a blast with those too. Okay, this last one is a sneak peek. I got to give you guys a sneak peek. This is a project I made in 2018, but it has not been revealed because this is going to be going to Creativation 2019. I made this little fox head and I do not have the project anymore. I actually made a fox and an owl that went on a pine cone. And here's the picture. They are so stinking cute. I love them. It was made for a project that was on a different channel that I create projects for. So that link is also up there, but I don't no longer have those little pine cones. So I recreated these little fox faces and I did them in three different ways. This is actually the make and take that I'm going to be doing at the Felt booth at Creativation 2019. So if you are coming, check it out. Come see me. And what it is, is it's a little pencil topper. So look how adorable this is. So the video about how to create the fox face is on the, the link up above, except I stuck it to a pine cone. I took the fox face and I did them three different ways on a cute little clip. Look, it's on a little clip. I love that. And this one is just got a magnet on the back so it could go in your fridge, but they are so fun. They are so easy. And they're just so stinking cute. I love it. So, oh my gosh, take a look at all these amazing projects I made this year. This is just a small sampling of some of the fun things I create on my channel because I create and I make just about everything. So, giveaway, giveaway time. Oh, so much fun. So, you have until the 4th of January to leave a comment. Your comment can be anything from, hey, I love it. I love this is my favorite kind of project. Or, what do you want to see me make in 2019? I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys. Be awesome. I will have the winner announced on January 7th on my channel. And the prize is a fun rack full of all some of the amazing goodies that I work with because I work with so many fun companies. And I'd love to pay it forward to you with some of the amazing things that I get from them. So it's going to be a box stuffed full of crafty goodiness. Woohoo! Don't forget to leave your comment for your chance for my prize slash giveaway rack, whatever you want to call it. It all works. And I'd love for you to subscribe and hit that bell button on my channel so you can get further notifications of fun videos coming your way. So thanks so much and I'll see you guys again later. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed and oh, <laughs> can't swallow and talk at the same time.